Electric cars are becoming more and more popular around the world. Of this fact, there is no doubt. But while the variety and availability of electric car models continues to increase, so too is the voice from dissenters who question the true impact of life with an electric car. At least that seems to be the case given how much I've seen in the media suggesting such of late. So when a viewer reaches out with a link to something that seems to be counter to the modern electric car ownership experience, well, we have to take a look. This past week, one has stood out more than most. An opinion piece by Sir John Redwood in the Yorkshire Post in the UK, in which he trotted out some fairly common objections to the electric car revolution, namely that they were expensive, didn't travel very far per charge and were slow to refuel. Since Sir John is an elected official and someone who was meant to be a little less sensationalist in his views and to have a duty to his electorate, I couldn't resist debunking his work. And yes, he is a knight. He was given a knighthood in the New Year's honours by the Queen this year. But before I go there, some background. The Yorkshire Post, for those who don't know, is a regional newspaper in the north of England. It's been around since the 1930s and today, as is the case with many newspapers, is suffering a falling readership thanks to the internet. According to data from the second half of last year, its average in-print daily readership was around 19,500, but with an online viewership of around 110,000 viewers per day, which actually makes it one of the largest regional news sites in the UK. Sir John Redwood, meanwhile, is a Conservative MP and former UK Cabinet Minister who is known for being sceptical of electric cars, the European Union and climate science. Back to the posting question then, written under his own byline with the title of Why Electric Car Revolution Might Run Out of Road, my inner editor thinks the Yorkshire Post may have missed the word the in that headline, Redwood's opinion post, which really isn't very clearly labelled as such unless you look at the address bar or sub-menu system, lays out his views on electric vehicles, stating that, quote, in most countries, including the UK, customers have not been impressed by the electric cars on offer and implying that electric vehicle market shares are struggling to grow, Redwood confidently states that, quote, present electric cars have varied ranges from, say, 70 miles to perhaps 200, adding that, quote, a modern diesel or petrol car has a reliable range of more than 400 miles or up to four times as much as the electric substitute. He goes on to note that range anxiety and a lack of charging infrastructure is a problem, stating that, quote, it may take hours to recharge a battery car with fast partial chargers taking maybe 30 minutes once you have access to a charge point. When talking about longer distance travel, he continues, quote, if you want to do a 400 mile journey in an electric car, it will take considerably longer than in a petrol or diesel car, which can get there on a single tank of fuel, given the need to stop off more than once to recharge the battery. Sigh. To provide some context, new car sales in the UK have continued to fall this year because of concerns over Brexit. As an industry, petrol and diesel vehicle sales in the first six months of this year in the UK fell by 3.4% when compared to the same six-month period last year. Electric vehicle sales, meanwhile, are 60.3% higher than the same period last. That's hardly an indication that customers are not impressed. And I should note, too, that that figure doesn't include people on wait lists for cars. In some parts of Europe, including the UK, getting hold of new electric cars like the Hyundai Kona and Kia Niro results in a pretty long wait time, which means many more people are expressing interest in and ordering electric cars than there are cars available to buy. That, I think, takes care of the idea that electric vehicles are not in demand. And let's not forget, the Model 3 has just gone on sale in the UK. Next, let's deal with range. At the moment, there are really very few highway-capable electric vehicles for sale anywhere in the world with ranges of less than 100 miles. Sure, there are a few, but they tend to be low-budget models. The majority today offer between 150 and 250 miles of range. So Redwood's quote of perhaps 200 seems to have been picked out of thin air. 
Which brings me to the matter of recharging. Redwood suggests that long distance EV travel takes a really long time. And I am not going to lie, it does take longer than a gasoline car if you're traveling 400 miles straight with no stops in a gas vehicle. But few people drive like that. Case in point, earlier this week, we headed up to Olympia, Washington from Portland, Oregon to film a new Patreon video for this channel. We left Portland with a full charge in our 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. We stopped for around 10 minutes to refuel en route, which also doubled as a restroom stop. We covered about 350 miles in total, with one very small stop for a top off of charge in the entire day. Most people I know drive that kind of distance and they will stop at least once for a bathroom or coffee break, regardless of the fuel in their vehicle. Redwood then isn't doing so well in his opinion. Which brings me to the last point I will note from his piece. Although there are others which I should note are all laid out in short paragraphs as if Redwood has been given talking points by someone else in what turns out to be a rather disjointed letter. Talking about battery life, Redwood notes that battery life is a worry for some and notes that while battery warranties last for anything up to 100,000 miles, actually some automakers go higher, Sir Redwood. He then notes that, quote, doubts linger about the possibility that a large and expensive battery will require replacing well before the engine and vehicle are in need of replacement, adding that, quote, a battery deteriorates, making it more difficult to recharge and undermining its power delivery. Again, however, the overwhelming majority of electric cars out there have batteries that will outlive the vehicles they are in. And what's more, they will likely go on to be used in Second Life projects, keeping them out of landfill. Another concern that Sir John voices. Sadly, I'm not in a position to spend a huge amount of time researching his political connections, but opinions like his are not unusual in the political world. And in an age where sound bites and engaging the internet faithful seems more important than science, fact and reason, I don't think that this will be the last politician to pass off bunkum as fact. You've been warned. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to help us make more of these videos, please do consider sending a dollar or two our way every month through Patreon. Buy us a coffee on Ko-fi or visit our merch store to buy a t-shirt. I'll be back soon with another episode. But until then, keep evolving.